starting compression at 1150. And as always, the ASA NX3 tattoo balls. OG Rebellion, 27 ounce. Uh, I don't remember what this thing compression test on the thing, but we'll put it up there in the numbers. This is a 13 inch barrel, full one ounce end load on this. It's a man's bat, swings like a man's bat. Uh, I'll give this thing over to the first person who hit it and he'll give you his thoughts. Crooked arrow. All right, here we go. OG Rebellion. 27 ounce. The highly anticipated review, obviously, is this bat and the DNA that we did with it. Um, this bat is the real deal. It's the real deal. It, 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 it was a little heavy for me. I would love to try this with a 26. I feel like I will smash it even better. But you'll see the numbers compared to the DNA. This thing mopped the floor with the DNA. Um, it's not even an opinion. It's not even a, a, a random review. It's the numbers that it put up. So this bat's the real deal. It is, there's nothing to say about it. Just look at the numbers we put up and rock with that. You guys been rocking with all the other ones. You answer a lot of your own questions with looking at the other numbers we put up. The Outcast, the Demon especially. Just add this to, to that. I, I love the bat, honestly. I, I would buy it, I would game it, and I wasn't even a fan of it coming into it. I, I kind of looked past it. It was a bat I didn't really care much about, but putting it up to the test, I'll tell you what, this is the real deal. It, it honestly is the real deal. Rebellion, uh, bat everybody talks about. We've got a lot of them floating around in, in the area. Um, same thing though for me, my, my swing was, my timing was off. When I connected on the sweet spot, ball came off. Well over 100 miles an hour, I was hitting it hard. Um, my timing was just out of whack again, same thing with DNA, but when I compare the two, this is far and away better than DNA, swing for swing. Um, so I know same night, even though my swing was out, uh, it was it was performing way better. So I know given the opportunity to swing it on a night that I'm not out of whack, this thing would put up massive numbers. Uh, they have in the past for me. Um, highest ball I've ever hit with a Rebellion. 28 ounce, not a 27, but that's my normal gamer. Thing's great. I mean, it's, it's the bat that I love to swing, that so many people love to swing because of the feel, the vibe, and the way the ball just jumps off it, the sound is amazing. Uh, explosive performance, as always. The OG Rebellion. Yeah, uh, I, this is actually the first Anarchy I ever swung, not the specific one. It was actually one of Jay's 28s. Uh, usually I like the performance, um, but I, I can't really speak on um, opinion tonight. Just didn't perform for me. Um, I'm going to base that off the fact that I was swinging like an absolute pansy. Um, and that's just 
that's just the way it was for me. You're not going to see too many good swings uh, for me in the video, unfortunately. But the, uh, but the numbers, I mean, for me, like I said, were not good. Um, bat felt fine in my hands. Felt great. Stiff handle. Small knob like the rest of them for, for Anarchy. Um, other than that, I'm going to give it back to Mr. Trello because I don't deserve to say much more than that. in the Connecticut metropolitan area. We are currently taking applications for a fourth hitter. Stokey's not quite working out. Just did dirty. Stokey only scored one. That's all you need to know. I gotta do something. You relax. I didn't do anything. I think I think Stokey's protein bar didn't kick in yet. He'll be ready for Thursday. All right, so Rebellion, uh, OG Rebellion again, 27 ounce, 13-inch uh, barrel, one ounce end load. Uh, this is, uh, we always say that these bass, these are the bass that you can hit any ball, they, they'll handle any ball and they'll handle it well. Uh, any, any 52 you throw at it, any manufacturer, mushy ones, hard ones, it handles everything. And tonight, it, it didn't let us down. It was, it sounded loud. You hit this thing and you heard it, you know, that, that power was there. So this thing is, is every every bit that it's, it's hyped up to be. Uh, you know, the, the feel is there, the end, the end load is there. It's just, you know, I don't know. It just, these, these swing really good. They perform really well for us. Look look at the numbers again to, to see where it falls in, in the charts. Uh, I, I wish I was a power guy like these guys, but uh, I, I hit the ball where they're not, I guess. And, <laughs> Good thing the fence is only 300 feet. If it was further down, it's struggle. But, uh, but yeah, these are these are they're good, man. It, it is. We did this tonight against the OG DNA, and I don't think I hit any home runs with the DNA. I think uh, the ball, like I got caught the fence, like 313, and I, I hit a few home runs with this. So not not even in the same league for us. So uh, so that, that's it. This is uh, you know, every bit as good as, as we thought it was going to be. Did it for us. Put up some numbers. Felt good. Swings good. Uh, even at 27 ounce, no, no problem. Just once you know, that thing gets going, it goes through. Uh, it's that sound, man. When you when you connect on a broken in rebellion, that sound, that pop that you hear, that shotgun sound, is just uh, people turn heads. And, and it's, a lot of bats don't really give you that. And uh, you know, the broken in bats will. And some of them have a different sound. But man, these anarchies, when they get they get good and they hit, they hit that sweet spot, they're, they're head turners. So. But uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it. it. It did everything that we thought it was gonna do. Lived up to uh, lived up to our expectations, and uh, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. And we here we have our ending compression. On this is at 11:50. These can go down to 10:50 at the pass fail mark. All right, here's our chart now. It's updated through. The bats we've done now, top five swings per person per bat, and then our combined average overall per bat, and starting and ending compression numbers. All right, that's it for now on this review. This was the Rebellion, and I uh, thank everybody for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.